Alright, welcome back everyone. Um, in this tutorial we're going to create our little scroll view that will contain all of our and uh, achievement UI. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first let's go to our canvas and create our scroll view. I'm going to drag it over here. Probably going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit taller as well. Um, First things first, I don't really want a horizontal scroll, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to get rid of this horizontal scroll bar, as well as actually delete the game object for it. Um, then I want to make sure this vertical scroll bar goes all the way to the bottom. Um, and the next part is we need to set up this uh, content view. The way I like to do it is because it's just going to be a vertical layout of our achievements, I simply add a vertical layout group. I'm going to start it up at upper center, but I'm going to make sure that it uh, force expands the width so the achievements take up the whole entire width, but not the height. That way, I can use a content size fitter and make the vertical fit preferred. That way as we add more it will grow and actually go off the list and we'll get our little scrolling effect. So the next part is let's create our um, achievement UI. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new UI image. Um, probably you're free to mess around with this for or however you want. Make it look however you want. Um, I'm just going to make it pretty simple. It's going to be a white background. Maybe change the color to something else. I don't know. Let's go with green. Um, and this is going to be our background. Or I'm going to call this the achievement item. And inside here, I'm going to create a empty and call this uh, icon container. And it's just going to go to the left. Now the main thing is I want to specify the height of our achievement item. And I'm actually going to make it, uh, let's go like 75. That's maybe a little too much. Let's go with 65. I'm actually going to make our scroll view a little bit smaller as well. Now inside this container, this we're going to be 65 height, 65 width. Um, I'm going to leave it anchored to the left. I'm going to create a little image and call this our icon make sure it fills up its parent and I'm gonna change the icon to that trophy icon we had before and uh, uh, the color I'm gonna give it some padding probably 10 on each side make sure it preserves aspect ratio now um, color I'm actually gonna make it again like golden yellow or something I don't know, you're free to mess around with this. But I'm going to actually call this icon unlocked. Then I'm going to duplicate it and call this one icon locked. And this is the icon that will show up whenever the achievement is locked. And all I'm going to do is just turn down the opacity a bit and maybe make it gray. And now it will switch between the two locked and unlocked. Now the next step is let's create a new empty I'm going to call this content and make it fill up the whole entire achievement width and then I'm going to give it um, was it 65 padding on the left because that's the size of the icon container and inside here we're going to create a new text this text is going to be the title label uh, and I'm going to make it like 18 left aligned whatever make it fill up the screen only half of the container I'm going to give it some actually I'm going to bottom align it and call it achievement title I'm going to give it a Roboto medium font and I'm going to duplicate it and reverse this to 0 and then 0 0.5 whoops 0 0.5 so 
set it up a bit, reset all these. I don't know why they get all funky. Uh, and this is going to be top aligned, but this is going to be the description. And I'm actually going to change the font to uh, italic. Description goes here. Yada. I don't know. Make something up. And that's basically how our uh, achievement's going to look. And I'm going to rename this to description label. And the next thing is I'm going to create a prefab out of it. That way we can instantiate it. And this is what the list of achievements will look like. And again, because we're using those layouts, everything adjusts to its proper position. Alright, um, and in the next video, we're going to go ahead and write a little script to control the locking and unlocking of this achievements. See you in the next one.